Zipped around the outside at the 600 mark to take on Saxapak, who saw him coming and quickened it. Saxapak, Mass Effect, who'll have to really dig in now. Top of it was a third. Star Value strung up behind the two leaders coming into the bend. Newman wants it out and he wants it quickly. Then being followed by Jazari Proclamation, Dude Man, Bro and Entrechard. Mass Effect, Saxapak together. They've kicked two clear at the 250, though. Top of it was on Star Value. Now around the heels, quickly closing down on them. It's Star Value. Rangers up, grabs the lead with 100 to go, put pay to them, draws away, a double coming up for Newman. Star value, pull clear to win it very easily. Entrechard or Solar Sky? Solar Sky second. I reckon from Entrechard or Dude Man Bro, who bobbed as well inside of her. Followed then by Top of the Waza, Saxapak, Proclamation, Karelebeck, Mass Effect, weakened on his run, and back with it as well, Jazari and also Sunset Superman. Star value. Good value in the last of the day for Lee Newman. Boots home the second leg of a double. He and Brad Parnham have chalked up multiple winners through the program. And star value for Scotty Embry, labelling it the absolute best bet of the day. And he's right on the money. Back from 440 into 350. The best tried runner in the last. Wins at star value. He was back there. Zipped up in a pocket. Solar Sky will grab second, third. Gee, it's close, actually, between three of them. Dude Man Bro, Entrecha, and Top of the Waza is not out of the minor placings either in a congested finish for minor placings. Star value by Ad Valorum from a Monastar. For Loma Farms, managed by Kelly Everett, St Jude Pastoral, Jim Miarada, trained by Dan O'Connor, Lee Newman aboard the winner. I think Solar Sky is going to run second here, deep out by Pendragon from Mercury Lady for Martin Allen and Craig Staples. So it's the Irishmen that have Quinella the race. O'Connor and Allen in the last in 219.94. Split sectional 35.52. And still third to be declared. Now that is tight, very tight indeed. Don't tear up your tickets. Top of the Waza. Also on Trishar and. Uh, the other one here in the mix. As we wait for these placings to come through. Dude man bro. Five's got it though. Top of the Waza. Three, ten, five and seven they are. Entrechar misses out on the outside. Three, ten, five, seven to the last of the day. Big win star value. And let's go to Gareth Hall. He's down there in the yard and he's got with him Dan O'Connor. Well, Dan O'Connor basically declared it to our viewers on Sky Thoroughbred Central star value after his track gallop there at Belmont on Tuesday morning. That was impressive, Dan. It was. He showed a good turn of foot that hadn't been shown for a while and um, just the winkers have woke him up a bit. He can be a little bit idle and look after himself a bit, but he's a tough bugger. He was showing plenty of potential over the seven furlongs of the mile early on in his prep, but as soon as you stepped him out, he's a real fair dinkum stayer now. Well, we had to because he kind of, all of a sudden, he lost that turn of foot that he had running over the 1400 and we thought we started putting the work into him the two laps here at the track and he proved that he could stay in his work at home so it was the way to go you know new year's day is quickly approaching he probably gets into the perth cup now after that victory with a light weight you're looking forward to that is that the plan it wasn't the plan tell you the truth but it's kind of took us that way you know so we're just happy to have a go at it and see what happens you never know he's sitting the pace and track track up tra behind trap for fools or something you know and he seems to be getting better this prep he does. He just slicks his pot every time he does a bit of work or he does a, does a race and stuff. So he's just maturing the whole time he's in, in, in the stable, you know. And for yourself, exciting to have a horse like this heading towards one of our bigger races in that Perth Cup? Oh, of course. Like, I'm only training a year. So, like, even to get a maiden winner is, is brilliant. But just to have something like this is exceptional, you know. You might have a few jockeys now at the bottom of the waist giving you a bell to see if they can ride this horse or maybe Lee won't eat for a couple of weeks and get down to 53. Well, if he travels like that, I wouldn't mind. I think Lee might get down to the 53, like, but you'd prefer to have him pretty strong, you know? Yeah. Well, well done, mate. You enjoy the moment. Job well done. Cheers. There's Dan O'Connor there, Matty Kelly. Great story and brilliant training performance with star value, and he won like a good thing today. Super, super training performance. Make no mate, mistake about it. This horse, I wouldn't say he was at the crossroads a couple of starts back, but you were just wondering where he was headed. He'd won well over the 1,400 metres. Stepped up to the mile, and as Daniel said, that turn of foot just appeared to be taken away, but he's put the work in, he's moved him up in trip, and we've seen the best of him today. I thought he was absolutely outstanding, as was Lee Newman. Two rides for the day for two winners, Regato Dioro and Star Value. 
so Soul Sky was a good effort back in second. Top of the was another brave effort in third, and Dude Man Bro in fourth. So 3, 10, 5, and 7, 2, 19 the time, 35, 4, 4 was the last 600 metres in the Scotsman. Turns up today, two rides for two wins and two gems as well, and he's about to join Matty Kelly. Punters are absolutely stoked. Lee Newman gets the favourite home in the last. There was a bit of confidence during the week. How about during the run? Yeah, lots of confidence. Um, he galloped on Tuesday. Unfortunately, I had a bit of gastro, so <laughs> I wasn't able to make it. Um, but I was hearing the reports before I got out of bed, so everybody was raving about him, um, including the trainer. And full credit to the trainer here because he's not an easy horse, as you can see with the pony. He's very difficult to ride. Um, prelim and post, um, also during the week training. He's not an easy horse to handle or train. He's very quirky, but very talented. Um, we've always thought a lot of him, and he just keeps bringing it, so very happy. Early thoughts on how he might go in a Perth Cup? Well, on a run like that, you'd have to like him off a lightweight. Um, let's see when the final fields come out, and uh, I think I'll be riding him, so I'm pretty confident in him. You'd have a crack at getting, getting down to the weight? For him? I think I'd have to, yeah. Well said and well done. Yeah, thank you. Lee Newman, the punters are wrapped with Lee Newman aboard the three-star value all round. Super training performance, super ride. Super